And we're looking at the Anchor 521 portable power station. It has a capacity of 256 watt hours. And it uses lithium iron phosphate cells, which means that they claim you can recharge it up to 3,000 times and still have up to 80% of the capacity left. So overall it has a big sturdy handle up top. It's pretty, pretty small in size. Here we have the car socket for 12 volt output. And you turn it on with this button right here. Um, we have the display, big display, and it shows how much battery is left. Right now it's 14%. And while you're using it, it shows how much remaining time you have. And while you're charging it, it shows how much longer it needs to charge before it's full. Right here we have three USB ports. One of them is USB-C right here and two USB-A ports. Next we have the two AC ports. They're, they can output 200 watts. But you can only put in one three-prong device because the bottom one goes in upside down so the other one won't be able to put another three-prong device in and we have a little flashlight bar right here and the power button on the back we have the DC input which you can input up to 65 watts using the included power brick. Just plug it into the wall to recharge. So there's a couple ways to recharge it. Um, one way is using the USB-C port which is both input and output. You can plug in a power adapter with the USB-C with up to 60 watts. Um, the other way is using the power brick for 65 watts DC in. And you can actually plug in both the USB-C and the DC input on the back for up to 125 watts charging. The other way to charge it is with a solar panel which you can do with a maximum of 65 watts using the DCN as well. Or there's also a car socket adapter so you can charge it inside a car at, which is also at 65 watts. The flashlight on this has two modes. One is just turning it on and the other one if you hold the button down for two seconds it turns on the SOS mode so that's flashing SOS in Morse code to use the car socket you just plug in the thing you want to power and right here and then press the button and then this icon lights up this button lights up as well to show you that it's active to use the USB inputs you don't have to press anything you just plug in your USB device and then the icon lights up showing USB-C is powered and that is drawing right now it's drawing 15 watts and with 15 percent battery left 
it's going to it'll charge for 1.9 remaining hours up to 1.9 remaining hours and that works for both the USB-C and the USB-A ports right here to use the AC outputs um, you can just plug in any AC device and now we have this fan right here and then hit this button now it's active and I can turn on my fan and that shows that it's drawing 49 watts and with 15% battery left it can run for 0.8 hours So the maximum power output of the AC ports is 200 watts. Um, you can also recharge this power station while you're using it. And if you do, if you're charging a low power device, you should turn off the power saving mode right here, or else it'll turn off automatically after a certain amount of time and the solar input can take solar panels from 12 volts to 28 volts using the DC plug in the back 